Hello all, I'm Merlin Priya Jekar, working in Apisha Institute of Technology, Thane, Maharashtra, from Computer Engineering Department, is presenting a video on sustainability of cloud services in relation to carbon footprints. This uh, video is presented on behalf of International FDP on Environment and Sustainability. These are the video details of uh, week 1 and week 2. In week 1, I had explained about virtualization wherein we had understood about what is virtualization and the different types of hypervisors used and the advantages of the same with respect to environment. So let us go through the definition once again. So virtualization is wherein we create a virtual version of either an OS or a server etc. And the different types of hypervisors used are type 1 and type 2. One is a bare metal hypervisor where uh, the virtual machine is directly placed on top of the physical hardware of the main machine or in type 2 we have uh, virtual machines uh, where they are placed on top of operating systems of the host machines. Then in week 2 we had uh, extended this talk about uh, cloud computing and uh, let us understand the difference between the two. So. Virtualization transforms physical hardware into virtual machines, whereas cloud computing is a service that stores transformed data. Both technologies work together to provide various cloud-based services. And we had studied uh, several standards that are used, IEEE, ISO standards that are used, which we'll be discussing again in detail in the forthcoming slides. So the video outcomes that we have studied so far were uh, using virtualization, we can manage workloads by transforming traditional machines to make it more scalable and flexible. Then, because we are making use of four to five physical machines are replaced by one, one machine containing several virtual machines. So, there is reduced use of hardware and high savings in terms of space management and energy. Then, we have the elastic nature of cloud computing, whereby resources can be automatically expanded and contracted as per the demand. Now let us go through several ISO IEEE standards that we have. We have ISO IC 7, 17788 which gives us a brief overview of cloud computing. It provides basic terminologies and also different cloud service categories such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Now the recent version also includes a network as a service. Then we have ISO IC, IEC 17789, reference architecture of cloud computing that contains diagrams and descriptions of how various aspects of cloud computing relate to one another. Then we have 27017 which is based on information security controls. There are also two IEEE formats for cloud portability and interoperability. Now let us understand the carbon footprint uh, calculations of data for data centers. I have taken this information from VMware for uh, virtual machines. Uh, this data was presented by IDC that is International Data Corporation. The formula given is as follows. This is for annual power consumption avoided. Uh, that is PA which is calculated as N into S into H. Wherein N is the number of physical servers avoided. S is the average number, average power consumption of each server in megawatts and H is the average number of hours of use per day per server. After calculating PA, we are calculating PC over a period of time, maybe from uh, one year to another year, that means uh, maybe from 2016 to 2020. So the summation of all these values of PA are calculated into PC. Then we have a VA calculation where VA is the annual CO2 emission reduction in metric tons per year which is calculated as X into PA where X is the average amount of CO2 produced by each server in metric tons and PA was the annual power consumption avoided in the previous formula. Again accumulation, a cumulative value of VA is found out through BC which is over a period of time. We are going to talk about three cloud based platforms that are currently leading in market. They are Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. So let us start with uh, Microsoft Azure. They have 8% of market share and they have claimed to use 100% green electricity. They run all operations carbon neutral including their data centers and the money that they are saving 
is that they have saved is used for environmental projects with negative carbon footprint. Then we have Google Cloud Platform, which is holding 18% of market share. They have started their plan to make carbon neutral footprint in 2009, which was which is now correct effectively achieved by buying renewable energy from same grid as their data center. They have currently reached their goal of effectively powering all operations with 100% green electricity. Now moving on to Amazon Web Services, they hold largest share in market as compared to the other two. That is, they hold a 33% of market share. They have claimed to reach a sustainability for cloud operations by reaching 50% share in energy renewable. But some reports also say that only 12% of AWS largest data center is powered by renewable energy. Now I have some graphs uh, for these three companies. That is the estimated annual energy consumption is uh, 10 terawatts for Microsoft Azure and 2020 for Google Cloud and AWS. Then we have the total renewable energy portfolio which means how much energy is produced from renewable sources like wind, solar, biomass, etc. So their values are 1.9 gigawatts for uh, Microsoft. Then for cloud platform we have 5.5 gigawatts and uh, for AWS we have 1.6 gigawatts. Then let us see the carbon debt in metric tons, annual carbon debt for all these three companies. So carbon debt is the imbalance between carbon footprint and any carbon offsetting that has been agreed or undertaken to counteract this. So the values are quite negligible for uh, Microsoft Azure and Cloud Platform but in comparison to these two Amazon shows a very big amount of metric tons of CO2 emitted. Now let us go through the sustainability measures that uh, these companies have undergone. So if we are talking about Google Cloud, they use machine learning techniques continuously to optimize its data centers for faster operation and faster result generation. Then if you talk about Microsoft Azure, uh, they have started a pilot project with data centers running on-site batteries as an option for renewable energy on sunny and windy days. They are also conducting a test for uh, predicting uh, wind in advance for 36 hours, but work is still going on for that. Whereas, as far as AWS is concerned, they are uh, they have already constructed several new wind farms and solar farms. Around three wind farms and six solar farms are as of now created, and there are several under 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 construction. So these are the sustainability measures uh, going towards environment are being taken up by these companies. Thus, we can uh, conclude by saying that cloud computing resolves green computing energy usage uh, by lesser cost of licensing and hardware and lesser emission of CO2, thereby maintaining good impact, thereby maintaining a good impact on environment and sustainability. Thank you all.